Now the question is, if the area of triangle on the complex plane formed by Z, iota Z and Z plus iota Z is 50, then the value of mod Z is. Now suppose we have some vector which is Z. Now iota Z is Z into e to the power iota pi by 2. That means it is formed by rotating this OZ by an angle 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is iota Z and both of them they are of equal length. Now Z plus iota Z is addition of these two complex numbers. So we will add them using vector addition. Now this is Z plus iota Z. Now this triangle formed by Z iota Z and Z plus iota Z it is an isosceles right angle triangle. Now this is mod Z and this is also mod Z. So area of this triangle will be 1 by 2 mod of Z square and it is equal to 50 then the value of mod Z is simply 10 and that's your option C. Now here the question is the points A, B and C depict complex numbers Z1, Z2 and Z3 respectively on a complex plane and the angle B and C of a triangle are each equal to pi by 2 minus alpha. Then we need to show this result. So we have this triangle ABC. Now this angle B and angle C they are pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 and this also is pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 and this angle now will be alpha and AB it must be equal to AC. Now A is Z1, B is Z2 and C is Z3. We need to show this result. Now first what we will do is we will write the rotation for these two sides and we will rotate them in anti-clockwise direction. So this is final and this is initial. So we can write Z2 minus Z3 upon Z1 minus Z3 and it is equal to BC upon AC e to the power iota pi by 2 minus alpha by 2. And this is our first result. Next, we'll write rotation for these two vectors. And again, we'll rotate them in anti-clockwise direction. So this is final and this is initial. So we can write Z3 minus Z1 upon Z2 minus Z1. It will be equal to AC upon AB e to the power iota alpha. Now this AC and AB will cancel. Now what we'll do is, we'll square this first result, we'll write Z2 minus Z3 upon Z1 minus Z3 whole square and it is equal to BC square upon AC square and here will be e to the power iota pi into e to the power iota minus alpha. Now we multiply these two results. So if we multiply them, we'll write Z3 minus Z1 upon Z2 minus Z1 Z2 minus Z3 whole square upon Z1 minus Z3 whole square and it will be equal to BC upon AC whole square now e to the power iota pi is minus 1 and we cancel Z1 minus Z3 so here will cancel and this minus will also cancel so we can write Z2 minus Z3 whole square will be equal to BC upon AC whole square into Z2 minus Z1 into Z1 minus Z3. Now we need to find the value of BC upon AC. Now using cosine rule we can write cos alpha it is equal to AB square plus AC square minus BC square upon 
to AB into AC. Now AB and AC they're equal, so we can write this as AC square. So we can write two times AC square cos alpha will be equal to two times AC square minus BC square. So we can write BC square as two times AC square and one minus cos alpha. And we can also write as BC square equals two AC square. And this is two sine square alpha by two. So from here we can write BC square upon AC square, it is equal to four times sine square alpha by two. Now we'll put this value in the expression. So we can write Z2 minus Z3 whole square, it is equal to four sine square alpha by two into Z2 minus Z1 into Z1 minus Z3. And this is what we need to prove. Now here the question is, if Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4 are vertices of a square in order, then which of the following is correct? So we have a square ABCD. So this is A, B, C and D. This is Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. Now in a square, diagonals bisect each other. So that means midpoint of Z1, Z3 will be same as midpoint of Z2, Z4. That means this option A is correct. Now any modulus, it is nothing but some distance. Now mod of Z1 minus Z2, this is nothing but this is AB, Z2 minus Z3, BC, CD and DA. So what we're given is AB equals BC equals CD equals DA. That is all the four sides of a square, they are equal. That means this option B is also correct. Now mod of Z1 minus Z3, it is this diagonal AC. So what we're given is AC is equal to Z2 minus Z4 modulus. This is BD. AC is equal to BD. So both the diagonals, they're equal. That means this option C is also correct. Now D is Z1 minus Z3 upon Z2 minus Z4. Now Z1 minus Z3 is this vector and Z2 minus Z4 is this vector. Angle between these two vectors is 90 degrees. So we write argument of Z1 minus Z3 upon Z2 minus Z4, it is either plus pi by two or minus pi by two. And if argument of any complex number is plus or minus pi by two, then it simply means that this complex number Z1 minus Z3 upon Z2 minus Z4 is purely imaginary. That means option D is also correct. So the correct options are A, B, C and D. Now here the question is, suppose Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 plus Z4 is zero and mod of Z1 equals mod of Z2 equals mod of Z3 equals mod of Z4 and it is equal to one. Now it says if Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4 are vertices of a quadrilateral, then this quadrilateral must be a. Now, since modulus of all the four complex numbers is one, so all the four points, they lie on a unit circle with center at origin. So center at origin, and then these four points, Z1, Z2, Z3, and Z4, they lie on this unit circle and this radius is one unit. Now let us say Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4, they are roots of some biquadratic equation. Now if we write S1, S1 is sum of all roots and sum of all roots is simply zero. So S1 is zero. Now we'll write S3. Now we know that Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 plus Z4 is zero. 
then so their conjugates is also zero now since mod of z1 square is one then z1 z1 bar is also one so z1 bar is one upon z1 z2 bar is one upon z2 this is one upon z3 and this is one upon z4 it is also zero so that means value of s3 is also zero so for this biquadratic equation s1 is zero and s3 is also zero so we can write this biquadratic equation as z to the power 4 plus a z square plus b equals 0. So these four points z1, z2, z3 and z4 they are roots of the equation z to the power 4 plus a z square plus b equals 0. Now suppose one root is z1. Now if z1 satisfies this equation then minus z1 will also satisfy this equation. So if one root is z1, other root will be minus z1 in the same way. If one root is z2, then the other root will be minus z2 since it has even powers. So four roots of the equation must be of the form z1 minus z1, z2 and minus z2. So the coordinates, they will be z1 and this will be minus z1 and this is z2 and it will be minus z2. Now both the diagonals, they intersect at origin. Therefore, this quadrilateral, it is a palogram. That means this option A is correct. Now we find length of diagonal AC, then AC will be 2 times mod z1 which is 2 and the same way B says mod of 2z2 it is also 2. So both the diagonals they are of same length that means this pyrogram is a rectangle and that's your option C. So the correct options are A and C. Now here the question is let z1, z2, z3 and z4 be the vertices of A, B, C, D respectively of a square on the argon diagram taken in anti-clockwise direction. So we have this square A, B, C, D. So this is A, B, C and D and this is Z1, this is Z2, Z3 and Z4. Now this first part is prove that 2Z2 equals 1 plus iota Z1 plus 1 minus iota Z3. Now for this we'll use these two vectors and we'll rotate them in anti-clockwise direction. So this is final and this is initial. So we can write Z1 minus Z2 upon Z3 minus Z2 will be equal to AB upon BC e to the power iota pi by 2. Now since it is a square, AB is equal to BC and e to the power iota pi by 2 is nothing but iota. So we can write Z1 minus Z2 it is equal to iota z3 minus iota z2 so we can write 1 minus iota z2 it will be equal to z1 minus iota z3 now we'll multiply both sides with 1 plus iota now we can write 2z2 and it'll be equal to 1 plus iota z1 and then minus and here will be iota minus 1 z3 or we can write 2z2 it is equal to 1 plus iota z1 plus 1 minus iota z3 and this is what we need to prove in the first part. Now using same rotation for these two vectors we can get this second result. Now here the question is prove that the roots of the equation 1 upon z minus z1 plus 1 upon z minus z2 plus 1 upon z minus z3 equals 0 correspond to points on a complex plane which lie inside a triangle with vertices z1, z2 and z3 or on its sides. Now suppose we have this triangle ABC
and we have this point P which is represented by Z. Now A is Z1, Z2 and Z3. Now mod of Z minus Z1 is PA mod of Z minus Z2 is PB and mod of Z minus Z3 is PC. Now we square it, we can write Z minus Z1 into Z bar minus Z1 bar it is equal to P A square or we can write 1 upon Z minus Z1 is Z bar minus Z1 bar upon P A square. In the same way we can write 1 upon Z minus Z2 as Z bar minus Z2 bar upon P B square and 1 upon Z minus Z3 as Z bar minus Z3 bar upon P C square. Now sum of all these three it is 0. So we can write Z bar minus Z1 bar upon P A square plus Z bar minus Z2 bar upon P B square plus Z bar minus Z3 bar upon P C square equals 0. Now if we take its conjugate we can write Z into 1 upon P A square plus 1 upon P B square plus 1 upon P C square it is equal to 1 upon P A square Z1 plus 1 upon P B square Z2 plus 1 upon P C square Z3. Now let us take 1 upon P A square as T1, 1 upon P B square as T2, 1 upon P C square as T3. Then we can write this Z as T1 Z1 plus T2 Z2 plus T3 Z3 upon T1 plus T2 plus T3. Now using section formula, we can prove that there is a point D on the side BC which divides BC in the ratio T3 is to T2 and then considering A and D we can show that this point P it divides AD in the ratio T2 plus T3 is to T1. So from here we can say that this point P which is this complex number Z it will lie either inside this triangle or on its sides.